Hi, welcome to Cloud with Previn. Today we are diving into VPC peering, a powerful way to connect two AWS networks privately. It will be quite straightforward. There are key rules and limitations that you need to understand. We'll walk through it step by step with diagrams to make everything clear. So what exactly is VPC peering? It is a networking connection between two VPCs. It allows traffic to flow using private IP addresses. There is no need for a VPN, no need for a net gateway or an internet gateway. And the best of all, it works whether the VPCs are in the same AWS account, different accounts or even different regions. Here's a simple example. Imagine building A is your app servers and building B is your database. VPC peering is like a private internal hallway that connects the two buildings. Instead of going outside through the public internet, everything stays in your private network. It is fast, secure, and direct. Let's sketch out a simple architecture. On the left, we've got VPC A, which is hosting an EC2 instance, maybe a microservice or an app tire. On the right, we have VPCB with its own EC2. It could be another app, a backend service, or even in another AWS account. Right now, they are totally separate. They don't even know each other exists. Now we add a VPC peering connection. This creates a direct private link between the two VPCs. No internet, no net, no VPN. Once it's in place, and the routes and security groups are properly configured, then these EC2 instances can communicate using private IP addresses, just like they're in the same network. Before we get too comfortable with peering, there are a few critical rules we've got to know. If you don't follow them, then the traffic won't flow. Now the first rule, there is no transitive peering. This means that if you have VPC A, which is peered with VPC B and then we have VPC B which is paired with VPC C. VPC A is paired with VPC B and B is paired with VPC C. This does not mean that VPC A can reach VPC C. You need a direct pairing connection between any two VPCs that need to talk. Next, just because the VPCs are connected, it does not mean that your EC2 instances can talk yet. Security groups don't automatically allow traffic from a peered VPCs. You have to manually allow the CIDR block on the, of, of the other VPC in your inbound rules. The third one, you have to update your route tables. Each VPC must know if you are trying to reach that CIDR block, send it through this VPC peering connection. Without this, the traffic has no path. Then lastly, DNS resolution doesn't automatically work across VPCs. If you want to resolve private host names across peered VPCs, you need to enable the two settings, which is the DNS resolution and DNS host names on both sides. Going back to our previous architecture where we had VPC A and VPC B connected by a peering link, both of these live in your AWS account and traffic flows directly. No issues. Now let us do some changes. We are going to introduce a third VPC. Now we have VPC A, VPC B, and then we have VPC C. We are going to add a connection between VPC A and VPC C. And I think it's important that I show that VPC A and B are in the same AWS account and VPC C is in a third party account. We're then going to add another peering connection between VPC C and VPC B. Then lastly, we are going to add a connection between VPC A and VPC B. Let me increase the size a bit so that you can see it clearly. Now we have all the three VPCs paired with one another. Let us remove the connection between A and C. Now we only have have a connection between VPC A and VPC B and we only have another connection between VPC B and C. Now here's a question. Can VPC A 
reach VPCC through VPCB? And the answer is no. Yes, VPCA can travel from A to B, but it won't be able to use B to get to C. This is called transitive peering limitation. Even though the connection exists between A and B, B and C, traffic can not route from A to C through B. Peering it is strictly point to point. There is no forwarding through an intermediate VPC. If A really needs to talk to C, we need to have a connection between VPC A and VPC C. We need to add a direct peering connection between the two VPCs, even across accounts. In closing, just because the two VPCs are connected to a third one, it does not mean that they can talk to each other. Remember, VPC peering is not a chain, it's not transitive, it is always one-to-one. -one. Now, if you found this helpful, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next video. And if you got any questions, please drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.